Welcome to Time Clock. In this video, we will show you how to use your manager account. Let's begin by looking at your dashboard. Your dashboard will be the first screen that you see when you log into your Time Clock account. From this screen, you'll be able to clock in and out of your shifts, breaks, and lunches, view a graph of hours you've worked for this week, view your recent time cards as well as time cards that are pending your approval, and view any of your recent punches. To start your day, click on Begin Shift. If your administrator has set up job codes, you'll be able to select one at this time and click Punch In. Is it time to take a break? Click the Begin Break button and your break punch will be recorded below under Recent Punches. When break time is over, simply hit End Break. Starting and ending your lunch is no different. All you have to do is click on Begin Lunch to start your lunch break, and then End Lunch once you're finished. Both of the punches will be registered below under Recent Punches. Once your day is over, click on End Shift. If your administrator has set up job codes, you'll be able to change the code you've previously selected, if you need to, and click Punch Out. The next option on your navigation bar at the left side of your screen is Who's In. Who's In allows you to see the status of your employees. By clicking on one of the six filter buttons, you can find out who has punched in, punched out, who is off, who is missing, who is late, and who left early. The third option on the navigation bar is Time Cards. This is where you will be able to perform an action on time cards for employees that you manage. There are nine different filters you can use to view time cards. All shows all time cards regardless of the status. Not submitted shows time cards created by the employee with no punches added. In progress shows time cards that are in the process of being populated. Overdue shows punch cards that should have already been submitted. Pending my approval are time cards that require you to take an action on. Under review are your own time cards that have been submitted for approval. Approved shows time cards that are approved by a manager. Rejected shows all time cards rejected by a manager. And archived shows all archived time cards. To perform an action on a time card, all you have to do is click on the time card you wish to change. Then you'll be brought to the time card details screen. From the Time Card Details screen, you are able to approve, reject, archive, or delete the time card that was submitted for your approval. If your administrator has allowed you to modify time cards for your employees, you'll be able to click on the pencil button next to each punch to make any necessary changes. Next on our navigation bar, we have the Reports section. Let's start off with the Summary Report. The summary report gives you the number of hours that an employee has worked during the specified time period. Click the Show Breakdown button to show further information, such as time spent on a job, any time off that was taken during this period, as well as break and lunch information. Next is the Details Report. Start by choosing one of your employees from the list. Then you'll be able to view detailed punch-by-punch -punch information for that time period. Last, but certainly not least, is the job code report. This report shows you a list of your job codes, who punched in using those job codes, and how much time they've spent on that job code. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your Time Clock account.